Hi everyone, today we're going to be wiring in an analog input point to our Click PLC. And the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the specifications. You'll see over on their website here, we have our Click I.O. module. And here is the wiring diagram. We have our um, voltage transmitter. This particular card that I'm using has four inputs and two outputs. So we have to supply 24 volt uh, power supply to the card and then we have our voltage input. We have the uh, first two points. There's our positive and negative and then the, the next point, next point, next point. So and here's our specifications itself. The input impedance, impedance for this uh, input is greater than 150 kilo ohms. So it's quite a large input resistance. So if we look at uh, our wiring diagram that we have here, you'll see I have my 9 volt battery. We have a potentiometer. Um, it's a 5K potentiometer. And we have the output of the wiper of that potentiometer um, and the negative going to my uh, positive and negative on my input channel 1. So that's our wiring. So we also can look at the wiring diagram that we have, which looks like this. So here's my 9 volt battery. It goes to one side of the potentiometer. The other side of the potentiometer goes back to 0 volts. And then I take my output from my wiper and my 0. So that's my, where my PLC resides. And if we look at the program that we have, You'll see that we have, there's our program itself. And as I turn the pot, you'll notice that my input now changes. And because I'm uh, bel uh, greater than zero and below one, it still has the first output on. Once I get past one, you'll see the next input turns on. And I keep going between two and three and then three and four, four and five, five and six, and then once I get above the six, everything turns off, and you can see that I keep going with my pot until I run out of room, which ends up being just around nine volt, which, 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 which is what we expected to happen. Okay. So that's our analog input. You can see that's very easy to, to implement, implement. And I can just back that off. We can see that now coming down. Okay. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just like you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. Then you'll get notification every time new information is published to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to help, to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, thanks for watching.